Hello everyone, welcome back to my chem corner. So in today's video, we're going to do question number 11.25. The question reads illustrate with examples the limitations of Williamson synthesis for the preparation of certain types of ethers. So here, when you're talking about Williamson's ether synthesis, it is talking about the SN2 attack of an alkoxide ion on a primary alkyl halide. All right, so if I'm taking an alkoxide, which is a tertiary alkoxide. All right, with CH3Cl. Now here what will happen is, because the alkoxide is negative charge and sodium being positive, this negative ion will attack the CH3 and this will move out. Now this sort of an attack that you show here is an SN2 mechanism. So as a result of this, what will happen? You will form a alkoxide. All right. Now, if you're taking a, say a secondary or a tertiary alkyl halide in place of a primary alkyl halide, then in that case, you would not have the same reaction. Now here, when you take, say for example, I am taking a tertiary alkyl halide. In the previous take, you, uh, previous example, you took tertiary alkoxide. But here, let's take an example of a tertiary alkyl halide and you're treating it with an alkoxide. Now, what will happen here is, in this case, because when this bond breaks over here, you're forming a, a, a very stable, uh, what do you say, carbocation, tertiary carbocation. Because of this, what happens is, the alkoxide here will try to react as a base. And as a result of this, you will form an alkene. All right, you will form alkene here. So here, when you take your tertiary alkyl halide or your secondary alkyl halides, this will not form an ether. Instead, it will form an alkene. And this is one of the limitations of Williamson's ether synthesis. So here you will have elimination reaction when you take secondary or a tertiary alkyl halide. Whereas if you take a tertiary alkoxide, easily you can get your product formation. All right.